Hey there, how are you? Today we are going to be looking at Wix App Market uh, and I think that it's a great way to expand or extend the functionality of your site. Now, I guess that you have noticed that apps are everywhere and uh, for instance if you have a smartphone you might have plenty of apps that you have installed uh, to your phone. Uh, but it's the same thing with uh, online website builders. They also have apps. Not necessarily all of those builders, but majority or at least some of the builders do have a way to expand uh, and extend the functionality of the sites. And Wix is one of these places. Wix has Wix App Market uh, that you can find by going to www.wix.com slash app dash market slash uh, main. So that's where you can find uh, the available apps for your Wix website. <clears throat> now, uh, when you go to the app market, uh, obviously what you are going to see is that there are all, all of these apps listed and there are quite a lot of them actually. Um, so it doesn't necessarily make sense to, you know, try to find these apps by just scrolling down the page and looking for the right app or the app that you were looking for. It's, it's not necessarily the best way to do it, so you can of course use the search functionality here or then by clicking the categories uh, link at top right of the page to see different categories and different types of apps that Wix has to offer. Okay, now let's take an example of an app. Let's say that we are interested in Wix form. So what you are going to see first is that uh, there is a very brief description uh, of the app and what it's all about. Another very important uh, piece of information is that you will also see right away whether this app is a free or a premium. And then there is this other option, which is between these two, free slash premium. But anyways, <clears throat> and as you can guess, free app is a free app, of course. But uh, if you are willing to invest some money, so uh, then you get a premium level app. And it basically means that you get more functionality that way, uh, rather than just, you know, buying a free app. So uh, I, I think that it's, it's uh, something to remember. Uh, it's of course, I mean, there really aren't any common guidelines how much an app would cost, especially when we are talking about premium apps. Uh, for instance, this one, two, three form builder, uh, if we look at it briefly, so when you go to the features and pricing tab, uh, you will see that you get certain, uh, certain. I mean, first of all, you get certain functionality with the free version, but with the premium, it starts from three euros and ninety nine cents. Uh, first of all, sorry about this. I'm not able to display the United States dollar prices here, and second of all, uh, at this point, I'm unable to say whether this price is a month to month payment or if this is a one-time uh, payment so you you will have to do some some in investigation before you purchase an app because uh, the pricing and uh, uh, whether this is an, a, a one-time payment or a recurring payment it, it really depends on the app so that's basically how it goes but anyway uh, if we go back to the front page of the uh, uh, App market. So what you are going to see that on top of having a brief description and then uh, uh, showing you whether this app is free or not, uh, you will also see the star 
rating and I think that this is a great way to or it's a great indication telling you whether an app is well potentially a good fit for you or not so for instance with Wix form you see that it has over 700 left reviews and it has I don't know maybe this is like 4.5 stars out of 5 stars so it seems to be a pretty decent app and I, I, I think that this is really great because uh, <clears throat> not only do you see the star rating but you will also see how many people have left the rating for this particular app uh, and so it's a whole different ball game if you have uh, for instance two people giving you a uh, or two people giving an app a four star rating for versus uh, hundreds of people of giving a four star rating for for an app so it definitely makes a difference so I think that in that sense uh, you will see pretty much everything you need uh, on this page but of course if you want to explore a little bit further what this app is all about uh, you just you know click the name of the app or the section on the page where the app is listed and then you will see these other uh, other characteristics related to that app uh, for instance you have a demo tab here uh, and it uh, gives you in this case it gives you a brief I guess this is a video showing you how the uh, app works in, re in real life uh, and of course you have all the different features listed uh, and ba basic package and of course in this case this is a free app so it is uh, showing all the features that you are getting uh, and of course you can then access these uh, reviews to see how other people are uh, actually uh, seeing this app uh, sorry let me just uh, go back to this page again to uh, display the reviews so uh, yeah here we go and finally you have some developer information uh, here okay good so um, I, I think that uh, this is pretty much it when it comes to installing apps now the purpose of this video is not to give you a thorough information related to apps because I, I think that there are so many different apps out there and I will probably record a different video when I talk a little bit more about these topics uh, the point of this video is, is just to give you a brief understanding what apps are all about and how to actually install them to your site so that is basically what we are going to do next so let me just click this uh, or oh, sorry let me just close this tab here and I have already signed into my account now what you will see on your dashboard is that there are my apps uh, section here and uh, <clears throat> what I found to be a little bit confusing was that when I installed an app uh, I wasn't actually seeing it here after I had it installed and I have to do some <laughs> investigation and ask from the customer support why this is so but it seems that the apps that you are seeing here are more or less related to your I guess you could say your website score functionality uh, like for instance I installed these two apps site booster and visitor analytics and they are more or less related to your sites sites I guess you could say infrastructure like they are collecting data uh, the visitor anal analytics for instance is gathering information related to your visitors who are visiting your website so this uh, section here is not necessarily showing all the apps that you have installed and rather uh, uh, 
these other types of apps that you are going to see, for instance, those which in, improve the functionality of your web page, uh, well, they are not shown here. Uh, they are shown when you open the editor, Wix editor, when you start editing your website. So that's basically how this uh, how this uh, thing works. Anyway, let me just uh, install an app so that we can see what it's all about. There are actually a couple of ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways is, of course, by clicking this Add App uh, button at the top right or by clicking this Add App at the bottom. So it, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. So, you know, let's just choose this one and let me just choose an app that we can then uh, install to our site. I'm not going to purchase a, a premium level app and <clears throat> rather I try to choose an app which is maybe you know simple enough for this demonstration. So uh, let's see. So once again, we have these categories over here, and we see the star uh, rating here. Let me just let me just click the social. So I think that we we can have something very interesting there. Uh, let's see what we have: uh, forum, blog, Twitter feed. Uh, you know, as you can see, that there are plenty of uh, plenty of these apps that you can choose from. So uh, let me just um, search Facebook and let's see what comes up. So okay, so we have Facebook. Uh, let's see, Facebook like. That's a good candidate for this demonstration. So, uh, as you can see, that it has over 200 reviews and it has five stars out of five stars. That's a great indication that this could be a very uh, great, uh, great, a great way to enhance the functionality of your site. So, let me just uh, click add to site. And so what is going to happen next is that Wix is opening the Wix editor. Uh, so let me just open the editor. And what is going to happen next is that it might take a while until the editor loads. So let me just pause this recording briefly and I will get back to you once we are ready to continue with this demonstration. Okay, so uh, the editor finally loaded. Uh, it took some time actually, and that's the reason why I wanted to pause this recording uh, briefly. So uh, I guess this could depend on the app that you are about to install, or then the editor for, was maybe a little bit slower today for me, or the, there was something wrong with the internet connection, I don't know. But anyways, we are back, and now now starts the actual installation. I, I guess this is a little bit uh, confusing for some, and, and uh, at least for me, when I started exploring the Wix platform, I realized that <clears throat> that the installation process uh, only starts from this point. So you will see. Uh, well, obviously, you chose to, chose the app to install, but now you are actually getting to the installation part where you are adding the Facebook-like app to your site or whatever your app may be. But anyway, uh, let me just continue with the installation and click Add to Site. And let's see what happens next. Uh, I think that it, it really shouldn't take that much time to, to actually uh, put it to my website and it actually doesn't. As you can see, there is my app. It has been installed. And then there is something important to remember with any any pieces of 
applications or, or software that you are installing. So uh, installing the software is some, just one part of the story, but obviously what you have to do is that you will configure the application for your needs. So that ha what's what has to be done next. And the amount of clicks or customizations you have to do, it, it's really up to you, of course, but it also depends on the app. Like, for instance, if you have a Facebook like button and, and configuring it to fit your site versus if you have a, for instance, a, an, an e-commerce app. So uh, those are definitely, they are very different and uh, uh, the e-commerce solution would definitely take much more configuration and tweaking until you can say that that it's now finally configured for your site so but just you know keep this in mind when you are uh, configuring your apps but anyway you can then uh, choose different uh, settings for your app and uh, what does this button say you recommend it it shows there and what la what is the language of your button so obviously you can do different things with your app and then uh, you can track it and drop it around if you want to so that's basically yeah it's lagging behind a little bit so uh, but anyway uh, I think that this is pretty much it uh, I showed you how to install an app uh, I told you a little bit about uh, Wix App Market, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. And I will most likely record a new video related to apps, and and yeah, that's what I'm doing in the future. Uh, one thing before we go, just click save after doing all those configurations, so that you have a site with your app and with all the necessary configurations. So. Uh, let me just choose this one and uh, changes were saved so I'm good to go that's all there is to it uh, thanks for watching and I will get back to you soon bye bye